Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about area and perimeter. Here's our standard for this unit, which leads us to our learning goal where we can apply the formulas for area and perimeter to solve mathematical and real world problems. Let's try one together. Note that up here in the corner, it says that we're going to find the perimeter for this problem. To find the perimeter, P stands for perimeter, we add up length one plus length two plus width one plus width two. So now let's fill in what we have for each of those. Let's start with length one. Our length is going to be our three inches. Our length two is going to be three inches. Our width one is going to be seven inches. And our width two is also going to be seven inches. When we add up each of our lengths and widths, we know that three plus three is six. Seven plus seven is 14. We can come up here and add 14 plus six. We know six plus four is zero. Uh, six, six plus four is 10. We carry our one, drop our zero. One plus one is two. We have a perimeter of 20, but we can't forget to add the units, 20 inches. When we're talking about perimeter, it is the length of something, the distance around the entire shape, which is why we add up our length one, our length two, our width one, and our width two to find out just how much the outside of a shape is. Let's take another look. This time we're finding the area. To find the area of a shape means that we want to find uh, the inside. To find out how much the inside of a shape is, the formula is area equals length times width when we're talking about squares and rectangles. And that's what we're working with right now. Let's take a look. We know that our length is four. So we're going to say area equals four times. Let's go back and find our width is five. That's how wide our shape is. When we multiply four times five, hopefully we remember that basic fact to be 20. But again, you can't forget the units, which on this one is centimeters. And because it's area, it's squared. We put the little two at the top. It's 20 centimeters squared. When we're working with area, you always have squared units. Try this problem on your own. Please note that on this one we're finding the perimeter, which remember we have our formula of length one plus length two plus width one plus width two. And try this problem where we're trying to find the area of the shape, the inside. Remember our formula for area is A equals length times width. Don't forget your units. Do your best and I'll see you tomorrow.